we've seen so many scenes in Baltimore tonight. Incredibly angry young people throwing things. We've seen uh, police standing in line wearing the kind of riot gear that they so studiously avoided in the days after the death of Freddie Gray. Um, we've seen buildings on fire, people who've been looting, running down the streets, carrying kind of household goods, orange juice, toilet paper that they've ripped out of stores. Uh, we've seen this extraordinary building, a building that was under construction to provide social housing for seniors in this part of Baltimore, which had been long neglected. I've just spoken to the pastor whose project it is. He just burst into tears as he was talking to me, saying, you know, whoever did this, they didn't understand what they've done. You know, they've taken this away, they're vowing to rebuild. There's another old woman who's standing on the stoop just behind us, who was saying that the last time she remembers this happening in Baltimore was after Martin Luther King died when everyone burnt the city down and she told me that she thinks it's disgusting. I think there were real hopes that this wouldn't, it wouldn't come to this in Baltimore, that unlike Ferguson, unlike New York, unlike Cleveland, there was a very strong community here that would be able to force through and get the kinds of answers they demanded from the authorities. But that hasn't happened and who knows how many days and nights this will continue for. We understand there's going to be a curfew put into place National Guard are coming out to the street, so everything that everyone had hoped would be avoided in Baltimore has tonight come to pass.